So, you know, I knew I would be fine. Tyron Lewis said he thought his team got robbed tonight because of that overturn call. That's fine. I'm just happy with the win, and it looked like a block to me. I thought LeBron was moving his feet and leaning his body. I don't think he had an established position, so at the end of the day, you can't take it back, so I'm happy. Yeah, given how scary that was, how satisfying was it to come back in the overtime, make those threes obviously play a big role in the win? Um, I might not have been as explosive as I wanted to be, but I'll, I always know my shooting will be there. My spot up ability will always gravitate the defense, and uh, I'll be even that much better Sunday. I know it, but um, it did feel good to get out there and make an impact. Given uh, what happened at the end of regulation, do you feel like the Warriors got a break tonight? Uh, no. <laughs> There's no breaks at this point. If win's a win. If we would have won by 30, if we would have won in overtime or at the end of regulation, it does not matter. All that matters is being 1 0 with a chance to go 2 0 on Sunday. And you could look at it as catching a break, but man, you need at this point in the year, breaks are more than welcome. How do you, they killed you on the offense. Saying some stuff to you. They what killed you on the offense. Like what was going on between the two of you? Just basketball talk. Um, I'm gonna stand up for Steph. To us, my teammate. I'm not gonna let him be out there on the island. Just two guys talking mess. So I'm gonna get his back, and no big deal. It happens in the heat of competition. I'm just gonna say they killed you on the offensive glass. How do you clean that up? Oh, um, just boxing our men, finding them. We're gonna harp on that these next couple days, and we'll be much better Sunday. So we limit them to about a, half of what they did on the offensive glass. I think we win that game by 10, 15 points. How quick was it before you felt this rivalry again because this game lived up to the hype? No, I feel, I'm going to feel it tonight, feel it Sunday. Um, there's obviously animosity between us because we play each other every June for the last four years. So we're not going to be happy-go-lucky every time we see each other. No, we got a championship on the line, and both teams won it oh so badly. Wait, did JR say anything to you after it looked like he reached over to as if to say to you? Yeah, I know. He didn't mean to do that on purpose. Um, no one's out there trying to hurt anybody. And like I said, I gave him the benefit of the doubt because he was going for the ball. Just happened to tumble into my legs. Thanks, Clay. No problem. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you very much. You still have 51. What can you say about him and the difficulty in stopping him? Um, I mean, when when he puts his head down, it's uh, hard to hard to stop. But uh, I feel like we did a good job, and um, especially on the other players. Also, um, I feel like that's really a key. Uh, trying to limit LeBron from getting his points, but also making sure that the other players don't don't get off. They beat you on the offensive glass. I think it was 18 to four, or something like that. Are you going to lobby coach for more playing time to clean that up? Um, I'm going to lobby for us to win every game possible. So whatever he feels is necessary to win the games, I'm down for it. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks.